been I've been hearing a lot about Hamza Pass since uh, June and July are right around the corner. So um, I've heard a lot about the scenery changes on this trek right from the beginning, especially as you cross over the pass. So can you tell me a little more about what's so awesome about this trek? Hamza Pass trek is not a very long trek. It's a four or five days uh, uh, yeah. trek, but even in this short uh, trek. you get terrific scenery changes the moment first of all the drive up to the jobra uh, start point mm -hmm. you are actually climbing out of manali not many people know that from manali you are there is a road behind manali which climbs right on top up to 9000 feet where you can look down at manali there's a tiny tiny hamlet uh, it becomes uh, as you go up but leave aside the drive uh, which is very pretty in any case from jobra you get through get into this maple uh, forest now where do you in our country do you see maple, uh, maple so uh, yeah maple things. forest and uh, and things like that and then you get uh, soon after the forest not too big so scenery change immediately you get into the open grasslands near chikha and then you go up to the jowara meadows where you have two valleys coming and an intersecting at one place so you're right in the middle of this grassy uh, landscape valley from uh, two sides and then you go to your next camp baluka gira which is just touching the snow line See how soon this is happening. And you're camping at all yes, these places. Yes, you're camping at all these wow. places. So you get to the snow line and the fro snow line. You can see the Hamta Pass right in front of you. You know where you are going. And this whole Hamta Pass trek is a very, very narrow valley. You don't get these kind of narrow valleys uh, on treks because it's a narrow valley. The mountains are towering on either side of you. Mm. You have these lovely meadows which you're uh, walking through, and the river flowing right next to you, crystal clear uh, uh, waters, and the sound of the river. and then the scenery changed from because this was the kulu side of uh, the trek and then once you hit the hamta pass and you uh, flip over to the other side which is the spiti side so the lush green of kulu and the desert of spiti oh what a contrast <laughs> trekkers also have a bonus uh, of the chandratal trek if it is accessible to go yeah. chandratal is a trek i mean people have heard of this pangong uh, lake uh, uh, lake in uh, ladakh and as frankly to go to pangong lake you have to spend a lot of time energy and money and there you have chandratal which is a equal uh, counterpart to the pangong lake just not as big but the mm. colors the setting the desert landscape around it and trekkers get to see, even go to chandratal uh, by doing the hamta pass uh, trek so why wouldn't anyone want to do the hamta pass trek the scenery changes uh, chandratal uh, come on it is a trek to do and not so difficult uh, trek So I think next time instead of planning a trip to Manali we'd rather just plan a trip to Hamza Pass. I wouldn't call it trip I mean you got to be a trekker and you got to be fit to do this uh, to yeah. get these rewards mm. but yes it's a great trek to do.